Hi all, uh, let's continue our discussion on uh, IP addressing, particularly classful addressing. We've already seen the classification like a class A, B, C, D and what about the range of each address. For example, if, you, if the most significant byte is within the range of 0 to 127, you can say that it's a class A address. Similarly, if the most significant byte, that is 8 bits, is within the range 128 to 191, it is a class B address. So like that you can classify. Now, the next concept is uh, how the addresses are uh, managed like uh, it's a kind of hierarchical address that means if you have a 32 bit address that 32 bit address is divided into two parts that is a network id and a host id network id nid and a host id now this network id is helping you to identify a particular network where your uh, machine with this particular ip belongs and similarly the host id identifies the Ident uh, particular machine within the network that means within a network a number of hosts will be connected and out of that what is the relative position of your machine okay so this concept you can compare with the uh, operating system paging concept like uh, uh, in, in operating system you will be uh, noted that the memory is divided into different pages right pages and within a page uh, it's nothing but a collection of bytes or words there will be a number of location now whenever the cpu is generating the physical address or if it is generating the logical address it will be converted to physical address right so whenever the physical address is generated an address normally we divide like this that is a page index and an offset so for example page index is 10 bits and offset is 6 bits what does it mean there are 2 raised to 10 that is 1024 pages within your memory and within a page there are 2 raised to 6 locations that is 64 location or uh, 64 it can a location can be a byte or a word depending on whether it is a byte addressable or word it's through memory so this 10 bit will help you to reach a particular page where your data belongs to followed by the 6 bits help you to identify the location within the page uh, where your data belongs similarly here also the network id and host id okay the network ID identifies the network where the data belongs and host ID within the network uh, where is your host. Okay. Now, uh, the classification of the 32 bits into network ID and host ID is something fixed. Uh, that is what we are using. For example, if you are taking class A address, it is divided like this. That means totally we have a 32 bits out of them. The least significant 23 bits corresponds to the host ID if it is a class A network. Okay, so 32 minus 24 remaining we have 8 bits. And out of these 8 bits, the most significant 1 bit is actually a binary identifier for this particular class A address. Any address beginning with a 0 is class A that we already seen. So this 0 is something fixed. That means it is not varying. So the remaining 7 bits is actually given to the network ID. Okay, similarly for class B, uh, the address is the least significant is 16 bits. So remember here 24, now it is 60. Okay, when it comes to class C, it is, it is 8. That means 8 you subtract from here. 24 minus 8 is 16. You, you can remember like that. So 16 minus 8, you are getting this 8. Okay, so in class B, the least significant is 16 bits. So given to host ID. And you know that in class C, the most significant 2 bits are used for the identification purpose. Whatever be the address. If it is a class B address, it will be beginning with 1, 0. So, actually we have 16 bits here and 16 minus this 2 bits, 14 bits given to the network ID. Similarly, for class C, the least significant 8 bits is for the host ID and remaining we have 32 minus 8, that is 24. Out of them, the most significant 3 bits for the identification. So, 24 minus 3, 21 bits are given to the network ID. Now, if you are looking at a class D, the most significant 4 bits are uh, for identification now 32 minus 28 here we are not uh, dividing like that because class D is used for a special purpose called multicasting and that is not for unicasting you know we have three types of addressing uh, like uh, uh, unicast address multicast address uh, and broadcast address so, what do you mean by unicasting uh, sending from one machine to another machine Okay, some one-to-one -one communication. Multicasting means you are sending some information from one machine to many, one-to-many communication. Broadcasting means that many itself will be covering a large area, like within a network to everyone, everyone. Here, this many is actually a subset of this everyone. Okay, so now class A, B and C. These three addresses are used mainly for unicasting and out of them some special addresses are there which is used for broadcasting that we will see. Now, class B is uh, 
dedicated for this uh, multicasting okay so multicasting uh, for multicasting we will be having different multicast group right so a many means what uh, what are all the machines which are uh, participating in that particular multicast group so they will be given a common id and for that id this 28 bits are utilized so using 28 bit uh, 2 raised to 28 that many different multicast groups are possible okay and out of them are some are temporary uh, some are permanent also now class e the most significant four bits are for identification but uh, remaining bits there is no special meaning uh, specific meaning defined it is reserved for future use and it is actually used in experimental purposes like whenever some protocol is uh, newly created and they will make use of this address to test its functionality and all okay so that about the classification now the important concept here is uh, you should be able to answer some questions like this uh, like uh, if it is a class a network how many such class A networks are possible? First question. So, how will you answer this? How many different class A networks are there? So, just look at the uh, network identifier portion of class A network. How many bits are there in the network ID? There are 7 bits. So, using 7 bit, how many combinations are possible? It is 2 raised to 7. 2 raised to 7 is 128. That means, there are 128 different class A networks possible. And they are all very big network because just look at the host ID. How many bits are there in host? 24 bits. Using 24 bits, how many combinations are possible? 2 raised to 24. So that means within a class A network, the, there can be 2 raised to 24 host. So that is the next question. That is the number of host possible uh, within a particular network of this class. Okay. So how many host are possible within class A network? How many are possible? 2 raised to 24. Actually, some... Uh, this 20, 2 raised to 24 combination exactly you are not using some two uh, addresses are given for some special meaning special purpose that we will see soon as of now you understand like a 2 raised to 24 some two uh, two values we will subtract and uh, not two so, okay that we will see some special cases we will see right now we are understanding like this 2 raised to 24 combinations are possible so actually 2 raised to 24 host can be there within a particular network okay so it's a, a big number you just calculate so, so that about uh, class a network so this concept is clear now what about the class b in a similar way what you can say about the class b how many class b networks are possible uh, just see in class a the network id is a 14 bit field so using 14 bit how many combinations are possible 2 raised to 14 so it is possible uh, to have a uh, what is that value 16384 right 16384 different class b network now what is size of a particular class b network uh, it is 16 bits right host id is 16 bits so 2 raised to 6 2 raised to 6 is uh, 65,536 uh, but uh, some two values uh, we will subtract that we will see later so similarly for class C it's a very small network so how many bits are there in the network ID of uh, class C there are 21 bits so how many class C networks are possible 2 raised to 21 similarly what about the host ID it's an 8 bit field so it is possible to have a 2 raised to 8 that is 256 machines within a particular uh, class C network okay so that is class A networks are very small compared to class A class A a particular network is containing 2 raised to 24 machines where in class A a particular machine is containing 2 raised to 8 machines now what about class D class D how many uh, you can ask question like how many different multicast groups are possible because it is for identifying a particular multicast group so 28 bits are given for a particular group so totally 2 raised to 28 um, multicast groups are possible right cast groups possible ok so and uh, e for reserved so that about the, um, the class the split of address how in different classes the addresses are handled ok with this I am winding this thank you